period, I wanted to very quickly go over our online class assignments this week just because I'm slightly changing something in our discussion. So if you go into our online class assignments for this week and you open our first info page, um, I really appreciated the responses I got back from our weekly checks, so I'm going to keep those going. I do like hearing from you. It's a nice way to connect. This week, we do have two lectures. They're both a little bit shorter. So you're going to be doing one lecture on social class and race in As I Lay Dying. And then you're also going to be doing one lecture on Homer and the Bundrens. These are both due on Wednesday, so that's a change. Um, I'm asking that you get this accomplished a little bit earlier in the week. So those can be found here. You know you put those notes in Summit. Um, and then our discussion this week, I'm going to be asking each of you to deconstruct, so pick apart, one of the Bundren family members. Each of you is going to be assigned one individual student, or sorry, not student, individual Bundren, and you are going to pick them apart for our discussion and create like a poster for your discussion. So let's look at what that looks like. Um, and then of course you're gonna be reading pages 110 through 165 for next week. Uh, one other thing that's changing is I'm making my office hours. Uh, the first hour of my office hours is for seniors only, so that's the time to pop in and see what you need. So, online class assignments, let's go all the way to our discussion, number three, deconstructing the Bundrens. You'll see that this week we're going to change up how we do our discussion. Each of you has been assigned a task card asking you to deconstruct a member of the Anne's family. Using that card, you're going to create a digital poster and upload it to our discussion. Your poster has to include an inference for each textual, textual reference that I've provided and one object that you feel represents your character. When you post, here you can link a file, you can link a Google document, make sure your Google document can be shared with all of us, um, or you can make a resource page for your poster. So that would probably be one of the ways that I would do this right here, okay? If you have trouble with that, let me know and I will do what I can to help you out. But let's look at one of these task cards. Um, let's go back to our folder. You should not see all of these. I see all of these because I've assigned them. You should see one of these and this is your task card for your post. So let's look at the Vardman one. They all look pretty much the same. I'm going to have about six to eight passages for each character. And what I'm asking you to do is reread them and summarize what happens in the page and then come up with an inference. So what does this show us about the character of Vardaman? And you're not doing this in a group. So let's take that out. Um, so what can you infer about Vardaman from the things that he said? And then I would like you to take this quote and put the inference with it on your poster. Um, I'd love for you to at least have one object that represents your character and then upload it. So it's a little bit different, a little bit more visual. We're still writing, we're still using textual evidence, but it's not just going to be a block of text this week. And then I would also like you to respond to two other people's posts. So maybe you want to respond to someone else who did the same character as you, or maybe you want to respond to a different character that you think is interesting. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you get confused about anything. I just kind of wanted to mix it up a little bit, and I will look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Bye.